While Chitral is the final destination, we couldn't just ignore all the beautiful and largely unexplored places that lie in between Gilgit and Chitral. So that's why we decided to make a few stops in between. We had no idea about what we were getting into or what to expect from this place. But I guess that's often how the best adventures start. No guidebooks, no internet wisdom, just us and the road ahead. Easy. <sighs> that smell really bad. <laughs> that is the rubber that is gone. Rubber? The actual tire. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what, hap that's what happens when you drive with a flat tire. Uh-oh. That's not good. I don't think it's only a flat tire. There's like literally smoke. This, uh, this might take a while. Not the worst place to break down, no. hours still no mechanic yet yeah I think I don't think he's coming anytime soon <laughs> no. I think we're not gonna see Yasin during day <laughs> no no way <laughs> just hope we can find a restaurant no, food. well and a condition would be nice <laughs> not as important as food I would say nah, food is It seems like something's happening. Is it true? Are we actually leaving? Are we gonna make it to Yazin? I'm kind of expecting like two minutes into the car ride, something else will start burning. <laughs> yep, something's happening. Ready? 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 Uh, well, after almost four hours of waiting, it seems to be.
so we basically have no idea where we are or where we're walking towards. But I don't really think you can go the wrong way here in Yasin. Every road is just beautiful. We got incredibly lucky and the full colors were in full force when we were visiting. They're so cute! I feel like Yasin Valley is not that explored, especially not by foreign tourists, but I mean, you don't want to miss this, do you? And actually, I think the whole road towards Chitral is kind of not that popular. Most tourists just stick to Gilgit Baltistan, which is definitely 100% worth it, but Pakistan has so much more than just Google Pakistan. So, and I think Yasin Valley is definitely one of those places for me that it feels so unexplored, peaceful. We just bumped into a, a stranger on the mountain and he invited us for a cup of chai which right now would be very nice so we're gonna have a nice reward waiting for us once we get to the top of the mountain <sighs> of course he's like 10 times faster than us I just feel like I'm walking through some sort of fairy tale, like a fall, fall fairy tale. It seems like there's something there. Oh yeah, there's the guy. <laughs> it's beautiful, but a long hike up every time you have to go home. <laughs> Turns out our new friend wasn't just a passerby. He actually lived on a farm wow. with his family, yeah. cultivating the land that we were walking through. Come in. They gave us a tour around the farm and showed us the hard work that they do here. It really showed us how tough the people living in these remote valleys are. We were then invited into their tiny yet cozy house where they shared their chai, their food and their stories with us. We even got to try some local delicacies. Oh. <laughs> what, what is this? Yeah, this is a cheese. Balai, balai. Balai. Balai, yeah. yeah. In the end, Yasin gave us so much more than just beautiful landscapes. Again, showing us that friendly and hospitable people can be found anywhere in Pakistan, even on top of a mountain. Yeah, I guess it's moments like these that show us that the best adventures and warmest welcomes await those that are willing to explore. <laughs>